within the environment and poverty space, there are a number of challenges uh, faced by governments around the world. In general, they consider the environment and poverty to be two independent policy issues. But one of the key challenges is the data that we require to understand that relationship are very similar. For instance, people rely upon natural resources. Is it possible for, to, for us to collect data about natural resources, but at the same time understand the relationship between those natural resources um, and people? There are many indicator sets within the poverty arena, and there are also many indicator sets within the environmental arena. Is it possible to also bring those together so that we have a common underpinning um, framework for data collection? One of the key things that has emerged in 2012 was the system of environmental economic accounts published by the United Nations and associated um, international agencies. Environmental economic accounting is bringing the environment more formally within the economy. So we understand the economy's dependence upon the environment. Now what we've done is we thought, well, this is a key opportunity for us. Can we build in poverty analysis and poverty statistics within the system environmental economic accounting. And this work we've called the Poverty Environment Accounting Framework. And what it does is it's formally looking at the relationship between the environment and poverty. So people's dependence upon the environment, uh, people's exposure to sustainability and degradation of environmental assets, and also long-term resilience of both people and the environment. Why do we need the PEAF? Because it brings both the poverty and environment together into one sphere. So let's think about a wetland. We can take fish from the wetland, we can take fresh water from the wetland. People rely upon that. However, if pollution is entering that wetland, that wetland's going to degrade, we're going to lose our fresh water, and we're going to lose our fish. So two things are occurring. One, we have an environmental problem because our wetland is degrading. And two, we have a people problem and potentially a poverty problem because we're losing the source of water and fish. One of the key things that comes through as a feature of the SDGs is the SDGs are related, the goals are related to one another. We have poverty goals, we have environmental goals, we have climate goals within there. But one of the fundamentals is we're going to need an information system that helps us to inform those SDGs. The Poverty Environment and Accounting Framework is the first step in a conceptual framework to link the environment to poverty to report on SDGs and develop sets of indicators. For instance, what does a sustainability indicator really mean? Well, it means two things in a social, in a, one in a social context and another in an environmental context. Is it possible for now for us to develop those indicators so that when we're looking at the underlying data, we can see how those indicators are changing uh, relative to one another, so both for a social context and an environmental context. A similar thing is, um, applies to resilience indicators, resilience within populations, resilience to vulnerability, exposure to climate change. The same thing applies to the environment. If the environment is exposed to climate change, is it resilient? And if it's not resilient, what impact is that going to have on people? We hope that we can use the Poverty Environment Accounting Framework to bring these two uh, key policy challenges together, the environment and poverty, and work with countries uh, within the future. Music